Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Tara, I'm a mom of two boys and baby number three on the way. For today's video, I'm going to show you guys what I got for my five-year-old who's going into his third year of primary, which is his kindergarten year, and my three-year-old who is starting his first year of primary at their Montessori school. This will be a mix of some like boys clothing items, shoes, and then like their typical back to school supplies for their Montessori school. This is actually the second time that I'm filming this video. The first time I filmed it, the audio was not working or recording. I'm not sure what happened, um, but I had a little helper with me. I had Lucas, my three-year-old, and he was so cute in that video and I'm so sad. He doesn't want to help again today, so maybe he'll stop by or I'll try to include some of the clips, but he was so adorable holding up all of the items. But yeah, this will be the second time that I am making this video and I am like eight months pregnant so if I sound out of breath I'm really sorry it's because I am let's start with shoes so this year for my kids like outdoor shoes I got them both the same shoes which are these New Balance fresh foams their school requires indoor and outdoor shoes so these will be their outdoor shoes for like running around the playground and then for their indoor shoes, I've already sent those off to school, but I'll insert images of them here. For their indoor shoes, I bought them the Seek High Run shoes. I love these shoes because they are the barefoot shoes, so the like toe area is a lot wider. It's better for them for their foot development and walking around the classroom and that sort of thing. The other pair of shoes that I actually am still waiting to come in are rain boots. So for Lucas, you'll notice that I didn't order as many new things for him because he does get a lot of hand-me-downs from his brother. So as far as clothing goes and like outerwear, I don't typically buy those items new unless he needs them. Um, I do tend to get him new sneakers every year because those never last but he will get um, a pair of his brother's hand-me-down rain boots, and then I'm going to buy Lincoln his own pair of rain boots. The brand of rain boots that we love is called Outdoor Master. I find them on Amazon. They remind me of the Crocs rain boots. They're really lightweight and they're really durable. We have been purchasing these for the past like three years and I really love them. At this point we have them in all the sizes, but yeah, I've ordered um, the next size up for my five-year-old, so those will be coming in the mail for him. I think next I'll move on to backpacks and lunches. So for lunch boxes this year, I got my kids the Bentco lunch boxes. We've actually used this brand before, but um, this was the older version that we used. You can see it's very well loved. <laughs> this year we upgraded to the Bentco Chill lunchbox. What I love about this lunchbox is that it actually has a built-in like freezer pack. So when you open it up, you have like the typical Bentco compartment. It also has this insert that you can put in the freezer and it says freeze me, it's a freezer pack. And that just goes right under the dividers. So it can keep your kids lunch cool all day. I just think that's really nifty. I will say it adds quite a bit of weight, but if you're going to be putting an ice pack in there anyway, um, then I think it's pretty much the same and I just like how it really keeps everything inside cold. I did also purchase some of these additional freezer packs. These are also from the brand Bentco and they fit really well into the lunch boxes because they're flat. So I purchased a pack of these. I also did purchase these Bentco snack packs because I thought I would be sending the kids a snack every day and I was going to use these for their snack. Turns out that their school does like a class snack so they won't be needing these but I'm going to keep these because I think I still will use them on the days where maybe I send a different type of lunch like a hot lunch and I also purchased these thermoses so that I could send some like hot items this year. This is from the brand Reduce. It says leak proof food jar, hot five hours, dishwasher safe and vacuum sealed. And what's really cute about these is that they came with a bunch of stickers so you could decorate them. So I thought that was really cute. So one of my sons already decorated his. Oh, and if you haven't seen the trick for keeping food warm in these, it's that you need to put in some like boiling hot water and let that sit for a few minutes and then pour it out and dry it out. And that kind of activates the like, it's staying hot, I guess. Um, and that will keep your kids food actually hot 
until lunchtime. If you don't do that, the food won't stay hot. Another back to school like lunch snack item that I wanted to share is the packet. It's basically like a lunch bag. Um, this is actually the snack bag size that has a freezer pack built inside of it. So you just stick this whole thing in your freezer and then you pull it out when you wanna pack your snack or they even have larger ones for um, lunch boxes to keep your food items cold. So I love to use this to send in like fresh fruits or things or yogurt, just anything that I want to keep cold. We used this last year with Lincoln, so I just purchased another one this year so that Lucas could have one as well. And it also just has come in handy over the summer to have a place to keep some of our pouches and like fresh fruits or things that we want to keep cold. This keeps them cold. Oh, and I can't forget to share our water bottles. So this is the Owala water bottle. I feel like I've been seeing it everywhere on social media, but I found them at Target and I have absolutely been loving them. They're just so easy to clean. I think that's why I really love the kid size. I would say as far as them being leak proof, they compare to any other water bottle after time. I feel like they all kind of leak. But what I love about them is that they're made of stainless steel. They're really easy for kids to open. They've got this like soft silicone nozzle and then just a straw that is easy to clean, which again, very key for water bottles and little kids and it even has a lock on the back so you can lock that so that it doesn't open up and spill in their backpack which i like and i will just plug that i got myself one too um and i love the like adult size owala water bottles i have never been a big like stanley fan or a fan of drinks that have like large straws coming out of them i don't know they just kind of freak me out so this one's kind of a similar aspect where it has a straw that goes down but it doesn't have a straw that sticks up also with the adult one it has an option to drink out of the straw or to just tip it and drink it like a normal water bottle without a straw so i like that as well i guess i'm not done with lunch because i forgot to share the lunch box that my kids are using um, they are both using the pottery barn lunch boxes i like these because they can embroider the kids names on them and the size is perfect for all of the bent go boxes they fit perfectly in here they have a place for you to keep your water bottle on the side there is a little front zipper where you can put like utensils and then when you open it up it's insulated and this top mesh pouch up here is where i usually put their little freezer packs and they fit perfectly in there Moving on to backpacks. For backpacks this year, I was actually just going to send them back with the same backpacks they used last year, which are the L.L. Bean backpacks. However, I found out that school doesn't do backpacks. They're going to receive like canvas bags. So um, we'll just keep those for like travel or daily at home use and they won't be bringing backpacks to school this year. But these are the backpacks that we love. I've been using them for the past like two years and the blue one is two years old and it's held up great. And so yeah, the LL Bean backpacks have been our favorite. Next, I wanted to share our favorite masks. Our kids aren't wearing masks to school like every day anymore, but sometimes there's like an exposure in their class or they're just feeling under the weather and I will send them in a mask. And our favorite mask is called Cause, I think that's the brand name, and it's the Cause Minis. I just love them because I feel like they fit their face really well and my kids find them really comfortable, they're adjustable, and they come in fun colors and they're really breathable. So I just wanted to include masks in case you are still looking for a great quality kids mask. You've probably noticed that most of the items that I've shown you have little name stickers on them. So I wanted to share the name stickers we've been buying and those are from a company called Name Bubbles. I pretty much order the I think it's like the kindergarten starter pack every year and it kind of has a mix of different labels so ones that you can put on clothing ones that you can put on their back to school items like backpacks and lunch boxes and that sort of thing and they even have stickers for their shoes which i really love it helps like the littler kids to be able to match up their shoes and put them on the right feet so this year we got the rainbow stickers and this year I decided to just get our last name on the stickers that allowed me to use these stickers for both of the boys. Okay, I'm going to move on to clothing. I'm going to start with Lucas, who is my three-year-old, because he has the least amount of new clothing items. Like I said, we do a lot of hand-me-downs from his older brother, so there isn't as much that I need to 
purchase for him new for back to school, but I did get him just a couple of things. The first thing that I got him were these lightweight joggers from Old Navy. I think I forgot to say this, but I'll make sure to try to link everything I can find in the description box below. So if you're looking for something, make sure you check out the description box because I will try to link as much as I can find. But these Old Navy little kids jogging pants are my absolute favorite. These are in size four. The material is like a t-shirt material and we live in the south so it's still hot here for much of the fall so we always need like a very lightweight pant and these pants that I found at Old Navy are perfect. So I purchased three of them, one in gray, one in blue, and one in navy. The next thing I purchased for Lucas is this lightweight sweater. It's also from Old Navy. This is again, just like a very lightweight jersey material. It's not a thick sweatshirt because it stays so hot here through a lot of the fall. I usually just need a lightweight option. We don't need something heavy until it gets closer to winter. Next are the back to school items I purchased for my five-year-old who will be turning six in September. So I needed to purchase him size six fall clothing. None of the stuff he's wearing right now, it's still like a hundred degrees outside where we are. So they are in shorts and t-shirts, but I do go ahead and purchase their long sleeve and fall and winter clothes now because this is when they hit the stores. And I know that if I don't purchase it now, they'll all be sold out by the time it starts cooling down here. So these will be his fall clothes for this year. For places like Target and Old Navy, they have like their boys toddler section which goes um, up to 5t but then once you hit size 6 you have to move to the boys section so we are now transitioning to size 6 and transitioning to the boys section so a lot of these clothing items that I'm going to show you were found in the boys section and they're all size 6 and a few that are like size 6 7 We'll start off with what I found at Target. At Target, I found these boys' pants. These are called the Straight Flexible Drawstring Reinforced Knee Pant. They're kind of similar to the Toddler Boys' joggers, but the bottoms are just straight. They're not like cinched like joggers. Got one in size six in navy blue, and then I purchased another size six in a khaki. I did find one jogger at Target. This is called the Flexible Drawstring double layer knee jogger. This material is like that like swishy material, I don't know, from like the 90s. Um, it's very like wicking, but I thought this would also be good for the transition into fall. These are like your traditional jogger with the cinching at the bottom. And then the last pair of pants I purchased from Target are these boys sweatpant joggers in size six, seven. And these are in the color gray. I did not find any pants that I liked for him at Old Navy, but I did order some from Carter's that I like. These are the Carter's joggers. Again, I'll try to link them below because I don't see any details about them on the tag, but they're kind of similar to the Target ones. It's a similar material and they are cinched at the bottom and they also have the reinforced knee. I purchased three of these in navy, gray, and khaki. Moving on to shirts, I purchased a few shirts from Carter's and a few shirts from Target. The Carter's are all in size six. This one's kind of like a baseball tee that buttons down. Then I got two more button downs. This one is in navy. And then I also got one in gray. And then from the Carter's website, it's like Carter slash Oshkosh. So from Oshkosh, I got this shirt that says good vibes every day and has a happy face. So the Cat and Jack's boy sizes are size four, five, and then they go up to size six, seven. So I went ahead and purchased um, some long sleeves in size six, seven. They do look a little large, so we will see if he fits into them this fall. But I decided since we already have a bunch of size five long sleeves, I'll just size up to six, seven. So the first one I got is this gray one with a little pocket, and this is Cat and Jack. Then there's a navy shirt with some stripes on it, a graphic long sleeve tee, with a spaceship, a blue shirt with some rainbow squiggle lines on it, and also some on the back. And the last shirt I got from Cat and Jack from Target is just this like burnt orange striped shirt. And again, these are all in size six, seven. I did purchase a few pajamas. My oldest son really likes the tight fitting pajamas, which I found kind of hard to find in size six and up. Um, I did find 
one pair at Target from Cat and Jack, so it looks like this. I will say that these tend to run a little bit big, like the waistband is a little bit large for how skinny my boys are, so we'll see how these fit. I did see that Carter's had a bunch of pajamas in size six and even higher, so I grabbed a couple that I actually found on sale. The first one is a short sleeve one that says Brothers Alarm Clock, which is very fitting, and it just has striped bottoms. And then, because Lincoln's birthday is coming up, and this was on clearance, I think, I found one that says, we'll wake up for birthday cake, and then just has these matching bottoms that go with them. The last back to school item I have are jackets. Earlier this year, I think it was the end of spring, Primary was having a big sale on their jackets, so I purchased this jacket for my six-year-old, this is in size six, seven. This is a jacket he already owned, so I just sort of sized up to the next size when I saw that they were on sale. But I totally forgot that I had purchased that. And when I was doing my Carter's order, I was looking in their clearance section and saw that they had this jacket on sale for $6. And because I had totally forgotten that I'd ordered that primary jacket, I ordered him this one and because it was clearance I can't return it. So this is um, a Carter's <laughs> winter jacket in size 6. So now my oldest son will have two winter jackets but that is fine because this was only six dollars and I thought it was such a good deal. I think he's going to end up wearing this one the most because um, he wore this last year and we love the quality of primary and so if you can ever snag one of their sales definitely look into that. That is all I have for today's video and for our haul. If you guys are looking for any of these items, be sure to check the description box below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. And if you aren't already subscribed, please consider subscribing because I try to make new videos just like this every week. I will see you in my next video. Bye.